Preventing Plagiarism, a guide to stop you being referred for academic offences. What is plagiarism? Plagiarism is presenting someone else's work or ideas as your own, with or without their consent, by incorporating it into your work without full acknowledgement. The vast majority of students don't plagiarise. Well done. But if you wrote a famous speech, you wouldn't want someone else to take bits of it. If you were a famous author, would you like it if a student used a sentence you'd written and passed it off as their own? Any copied sentences must be in quotes and referenced or paraphrased. That means to read, take notes and write in your own words and add a reference. Otherwise, you risk being referred for academic misconduct. You may have hundreds of friends, but you must never use anything they have written in your own essay. Students using any essay writing services will probably no longer be allowed to study at the University of West London. This is because we are very proud of our high standards of academic practice and need to maintain this. Turnitin shows you where you need to paraphrase. A low Turnitin similarity score does not necessarily mean you have not plagiarised. When a marker spots plagiarism, the following will happen. Number one, the lecturer will tell the lead for academic offences. Number two, the lecturer will print your essay and highlight sections that appear to be copied. They will send these to the lead for academic offences. Number three, you'll be asked to come and meet the lead for academic offences to explain why your work appears to be plagiarised. Number four, you may then be asked to resubmit a new version of your work, or if it is considered very serious, the ultimate outcome could be that you are no longer allowed to study at University of West London. For further support, you can go to Blackboard to the help link, Excellent Films for Students. The End